Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Next.js. Today we are going to discuss about the folder structure in a Next.js application. So it looked like this. So let me open that one also. So not this one. Let's really, uh, clean this. Let's open my project that is next blog page, right? Let's open this with our application. Okay, so here we have a .next file. So what is the first one? .next auto generated by the next.js file then we have a node modules dependencies whatever we have installed then we have a pages okay so pages we have to define the index.js or default home page so default one if i go to the app here we have a page.tsx that is a default page okay so whatever written over here that gets started with editing and here you can see that get started with editing okay so this is the default page that, so that you can edit this page and do the rest of the stuff over here okay and the custom app development optional then we have other pages like about us contact us we can make over here i will explain the routing part in the next videos okay then we have a next one the folder folder structure so this is that one app then that that, that is favicon icon that uh, used over here on the top of it then we have a global css you can manipulate accordingly then we have a layout so layout means like we have a like header footer navigation body content on that note it will work on that okay i will also explain later videos page module.css that we have a css file then page.tsx already explained not modules public we have the assets okay so here we have the public images so image file other static assets we will include over here like the images and all next we have the git ignore file which one you want to make in a git ignore you can put it over here then we have a next config then we have a package lock which records each and every package that you have installed in the packet.json. It's like a tree, packet lock JSON. And here we can see that we have a dependencies and dev dependencies installed. Whenever we install any kind of npm packages, it will come over here. You can see that the next is 14, React DOM is 18, and the React is 19. Okay, here you can see. And then and here you can see the scripts we have that npm run dev. Okay, otherwise you can also make it next dev, next build, next start, next lint. You can also run the scripts. Okay, then there has a TS config that is for the type script. So you can configure accordingly. So whatever you have required, you can just add it in the TS config.json file. Okay, so this is the basic structure that whatever we have installed, create React and PX create app, it will give you that structure. Okay. Any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.